So you've set yourself a new goal. You're on this new journey. You're trying new things. You're doing something you've never done before. And you're pretty fired up and excited about the outcome. But you don't get the outcome you expected. When this happens, you have two choices. I call them the two Fs. You can either get fascinated or you can get frustrated. You know, for about seven years, I traveled around the country and I did workshops and programs in gymnastic centers all across the country. And while I was setting up my little program on the big floor X mat and the kids were starting to arrive and the parents were starting to arrive and the coaches were sitting down, I would put these puzzles out on the floor. You know those big chunky metal puzzles that you have to twist and turn and pull apart? And I had about half a dozen of them laying on the floor. And I didn't give any instructions. I didn't tell kids they could pick them up. I didn't tell kids that they should try them. I just left them there. And uh, invariably, one or two kids would pick them up and twist them and turn them and try something and then put them back down again. Another kid would pick up the same puzzle and twist and turn and try and put it back down again. And, but every now and again, there were one or two kids that would pick these things up and they would just work on them and work on them for sometimes 10 or 15 minutes until the program started. Invariably, as I got to know these kids during the course of a one, two hour program, I would discover that the kids that had the fascination with these puzzles, the kids that didn't want to quit, the kids that kept twisting and turning and trying different ways and failing over and over and over and over again until they finally pulled the two pieces apart, always seemed to be the elites. Now, I didn't know that starting out. I didn't know that they were the best, they were the elites, they were the most successful. All I knew was that looking down at these kids, some kids got easily frustrated and quit and give up, and some kids just refused to give up. They were just fascinated by this challenge. They were fascinated by the failures. Every time they didn't get it right, they just wanted to pick it up and twist it and turn it and try a different way. And that is a trait that doesn't just go away. It's just not indicative of working on metal puzzles. It's who they are. It's part of their character. They're not the kind of people that get easily frustrated. They're the kind of people that get fascinated by challenge. And really, that's the whole core of my sport of gymnastics. No one learns a new skill the very first time they get up. They have to mess up and screw up a thousand times before they finally nail it and get it right. And I think that's something that people who are really successful in life intuitively know. They just get fascinated by the challenges. They don't get easily frustrated. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where things aren't going the way you planned, where things are just not working out, where the idea that you had is just not coming around, remember these three words. Well, isn't that interesting? In other words, don't get mad, don't stomp around, don't throw pity parties, don't feel sorry for yourself, don't get mad because things didn't go the way you expected. Simply look at the situation and say, well, isn't that interesting? This is not what I expected. I thought it was gonna go this way, it went that way. What can I learn from the way it did go and move forward? Don't get frustrated, get fascinated. Hey, there's your sub button, there's your next video. Now go do something big.